Paris-Roubaix is worldwide the most watched one-day classic uh, of the year. So it's always important to be there. To be there not only, but also to try to win, of course. That's why the public loves us so much. We're always fighting to win with the open eyes and not looking to others. I was two years in a row in, in the breaks. My first part of with the pros, so it was a really nice experience. And then uh, when I joined the team here, then it was uh, so much more cheering for, uh, for us because uh, the people love, uh, love the way we, we handle the classics. And, and it was a really big honor to be to be in this team, for sure. With uh, also the last race of uh, Tom Bowen was a uh, really nice. My biggest memory uh, from those couple of races will be uh, Paris Roubaix, uh, my first uh, first race. Uh, I think it was 2013. I was in the position to be directly on the podium, top three. And uh, then one spectator, he was taking a picture, and I hit him with my handlebar, and I nearly crashed. Could be my first race in Roubaix, and I could make already podium. We don't have riders who will do Flanders of Roubaix, who has only 65 kilos. We have the big guys with the big uh, motor, and we are able to to try to set uh, the race to our hands. Some say you need a little bit uh, of a fat ass. That makes it really easy to go on the cobbles. You need a lot of power good bike skills so you have to the bike has to ride with you not you with the bike and being in the handlebars like this it doesn't work you have to go smoothly over the cobbles what you take as advantage as a cyclocross rider is that you get very often with the bike on the limit like in some corners that they, because there is like sand or stones uh, like inside the corners you know from the cars who are passing you somehow find better balance on the bike than uh, than the uh, guys who are just riding on the road. Both uh, physical and mental because um, for sure you have to be in, in the, the best shape you can be but also you have to be mentally strong to fight every time again to go to the little small roads and uh, to be up there in front and uh, to uh, answer attacks. I was eight years old. It was the first race that I really went with with my father. It left a really great impression on me. We were cheering both for uh, Ivan Maceu back in the day. So I would never dream that I one day I would be racing the, the real pro race myself. It's something just magical about about that race. The moment when you you are there and you wait for 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 30 minutes for all the cars and then are they going going to be there and then. Then you, you see those guys and they, they become heroes for you. Just by the way, uh, yeah, the pain and, and the sacrifices that they make. The heroic aspect of, of, uh, of cycling that, that uh, appeals really much to me.